really good. Those roots going out were just crazy. Anyway, you can see we've moved it. Now, what I'm gonna attempt to do. How about the one cool thing we find all the way underneath this tree? Dean Family Acres. All right guys, so we're gonna get this tree right here taken out because it's very sickly and not looking good and we have an opportunity to cut it down and use the backhoe to get stump out of the way so we can put something else there. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Y'all watch along, follow along. Y'all just watch the video, thanks. All right guys, so wanted to just show you how bad the tree really is. That whole trunk is rotten. Uh, I cut a big limb off of it right after we moved here and it has just gotten worse. So we're going to get it removed. All right guys, so we were able to get this big maple down and um, as, as you might have noticed in our last tree takedown video, which you can check that out right here, um, you can't hear when people are trying to tell you it's moving. Uh, my son was like, I've been hollering at you for however long. Um, I thought it was moving because I saw more leaves falling, but just always be careful. Um, that's why I wanted him out here. Uh, you know, I probably should tell, have told him just a little bit more in regards to just a learning experience. Hey. You know, if, um, if I'm in danger, I don't hear you, you know, what to do in regards to, you want to be careful. You don't want to just come up behind somebody and scare them either. So just kind of thinking through those things. Um, but it's down. Uh, that's good and bad. That's good because it's down. <laughs> I don't have to worry about it anymore. Um, and I can kind of slowly work on it. It's bad because now it's cleanup time. So we got to get this thing cleaned up and uh, we will get that done as soon as possible and we're probably going to burn i think some of these limbs um i do have a pile uh, back in the woods that y'all seen me put stuff in before but i will say this um that pile you know it doesn't just go away it does take time and it is kind of habitat for different things but anyway um we're probably going to burn at least some of these limbs as we get this down and then we'll use firewood for the stuff that doesn't have a bunch of bugs in it um, really appreciate you guys watching this far and I'll probably stick in us cleaning this up after this and I hopefully you guys enjoy that and maybe a little bit of music from Clint Groves. If you hadn't uh, checked out his channel, there's a link down below and I would strongly encourage you to check him out if you do like the music that we've been playing on a lot of our videos. Um, he's a good friend of mine and has agreed to kind of help us have some non-generic music on the channel, which I think is really, really cool. Um, always thinking about local connections and just building those friendships and relationships. Uh, all right, guys, y'all enjoy the tunes.
All right, guys, so you saw us get the tree up. We've been working on that maple for a couple weeks, honestly, and finally got that up. And um, now we're going to work on seeing about the stump. If it's something that we need to try and dig up or if we're gonna kind of just work it into the landscape. I know I'll put, wanna put at least one tree back around where that maple was. I'm thinking about doing two, a um, couple different scenario so i'll walk it down here and we'll kind of talk about it all right so um, we got the maple tree stump here and if you kind of look back you can see um, the chickens and everything back here and from the house up this way um, i like to kind of sit and look out this way from where I sit for breakfast. So anytime you're looking at landscaping, you always want to kind of think through how is this going to look from where I want to be seated, etc. You don't want to block something. So if you planted a really nice tree or something, not only do you want to think about, all right, well, if I plant this larger tree here, how is that going to impact it being full sun or not, etc. But also what's the view going to look like from the main place that you're going to be viewing it from. So um, we're going to work on that and kind of just see exactly where we're going to go. We've got plenty of space here. I want to make sure and leave plenty of space in between this here and the tree there to make sure that um, tractor can get through, um, mowing is easy, etc. And then the same between this tree and the bed down there. Um, so I want to have plenty of room to be able to get cars through, um, tractor through, that kind of thing. Don't happen often, but sometimes we do have to make kind of a loop around up here and at least one car width, preferably two, would be perfect um, just to aid in being able to kind of turn, move around, etc. So let's see if we can figure this out. So as you can imagine, when we started thinking about outlining this bed, uh, you're looking at an 18 to 20 inch stump and trying to figure out, all right, what are we going to do? We'll just dig this up, no problem. Well, this definitely ended up being a little bit bigger project than we wanted and we hope that you are going to enjoy the finished product all right guys so making a little bit of progress man maple trees have roots everywhere all right guys starting to have second thoughts on if I really want to dig this stump out or not. Pretty nuts. And all this area up here is just solid roots. Slowly but surely getting at it. Um, we'll see. Uh, best case scenario, at least it'll die back really soon. All right, guys, so we're in the hole with the stump. And uh, we dug out around most of the sides. I've cut a couple tap roots that were going down. It's kind of crazy. These big clumps here come down, and they'll have a root about this big around just going down. That's it. So um, we're making a little bit of progress here. Hopefully, we will get this out before the end of the afternoon. Uh, this just seems like a long process and has had me rethinking, why in the world am I doing this? But I know that overall, this will be a much nicer bed if I get this out of here now versus waiting years for this to get broken up. Guys, I can't believe it. We got this thing to move. It was digging around and uh, cutting off some major main roots coming down that honestly were about this big. They were probably 
I don't know, um, eight or 10 of them on this whole stump. Those roots going out were just crazy. Anyway, you can see we've moved it. Now, what I'm gonna attempt to do, we will see, is I'm gonna see if we can drive down in here and flip this up with the bucket. Um, I might try with the backhoe on the other end and pulling it back. I just don't know that it'll do it. So we're gonna try and hopefully we can make that happen. Might have to dig out some here just to make it smooth so we can get in and out. All right, guys, excuse the tractor, but check this out. Yeah, that took a while. It took a big hole. Hopefully. All right, guys, so just kind of stood it up right here. Um, we'll see. Maybe it'll wash off. Maybe it'll, maybe it'll just end up being need to be burned, but I figure it'd be kind of interesting. Put it there, just keep an eye on it. Also can be some habitat for some animals, etc. So I think a good spot right here next to one of our crepe myrtles. Um, all these look like they've taken. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six. So... We'll keep moving and get that hole filled back in so we can get that bed made and start working on something else. All right, guys, so back here at the hole, and uh, as you can see, we've got roots everywhere. I think some of the ones that aren't super long, um, if we can't think of anything else we want to do with them, I'm probably just going to put them in the bottom of the hole, and then we're just going to kind of start filling everything back in. I think that'll work well. Um, one interesting thing, <laughs> I think y'all might find this amusing. Uh, I don't know why, but I'm all the time getting uh, suggested videos of things that people find when they're digging. Um, obviously, they're prospectors, and they find all kind of really cool stuff. Not that any of those are set up. <laughs> However, um, how about the one cool thing we find all the way underneath this tree? So, I'm guessing this has probably been here at least 35 years. That's my guess. Um, this house was built in the mid-80s, so um, I'm guessing it was probably here before that um around that time when the shop was built because shop was actually built first anyway this is it y'all i'm gonna let y'all guess down below and here a little bit later in the video i'm going to tell you exactly what this is but this is the treasure that we found underneath the tree so for now let's get moving we will uh get these root pieces back into the bottom of the hole and then we'll start filling it back in so we can kind of get our bed laid out and um we're gonna that'll definitely be another video in regards to when we get this planted out we've got at least a couple trees and some bushes and debating on a couple other things to do um right in this area where this tree was but we know we want to at least have one maybe two uh different types of tree here so y'all continue to follow along thanks for watching us and uh put you up on a time lapse maybe you can uh, enjoy some of that great Clint Groves um, bluegrass on this one.
most of the roots that I can get to. I know there's still some more under the soil, but what we're gonna do is now just take the tractor, just push it in. Anywhere I, where I know there's some roots, I'm gonna try and push that in first. If I see some, I'll try and jump off, and make sure we put them underneath. Trying to keep everything, like these big roots and stuff, at least a foot under the soil level. And one of the main reasons I'm, I'm doing this is um, because uh, uh, I know that there was a lot of soil lost um, from that stump, and I don't want it to be a big low spot here. I don't mind it being a little bit lower probably than it was just because of the way things flow here, but I don't want it to be a dip. So um, uh, we'll jump on the tractor now, see if we can get this pushed in. And again, it should look pretty good. Any um, outstanding roots that we have that are going way out, they're pretty big. I might use the back head to dig those up. But we'll kind of we'll kind of figure it out. As y'all know, I'm kind of figuring out things as I go. I've never really dug up a big stump like this before. Just watched some YouTube videos, talk to some other people, and again, just knowing you got to get down and under. And uh, that took me actually kind of digging all the way around it pretty deep, and then um, actually getting under it with a shovel after I kind of broken it down as much as I possibly could. So um, here we go. We'll jump on and get this thing filled up. Right, guys so as you can see we've got the maple tree out of the way so this was a start to finish from trying to figure out what to do with a tree that's going to be a problem in your yard to dropping it to limit it cutting it up into firewood stacking that firewood and then working with the remainder of the tree getting rid of it and then also um, digging up the stump making it a clear area so that you can then put in another bed, plant another tree, whatever, and not have to worry about that stump. Would it have been easier just to cut the tree down and leave the stump? Absolutely. Would it have looked as nice? We'll see in a year or two. <laughs> but for now, I think that I can honestly say it would not have um, because we would have had to plant around that and work the bed around it. So um, for now, our second treasure that we've found, um, the only thing that we have lost is the um, chainsaw wrench with the screwdriver and then the ends on it. We'll have to um, replace that. But other than that, I'd say we did an excellent job of clearing out an old dead maple tree. For those of you who have stuck around this long, thanks so much. I know you've already subscribed like who? Mike Tyson did in the 1980s. Um, he rung that bell and I want you to as well. If you uh, haven't done that, um, then you will hear that quite often at the end of the videos if you stick around. Um, but don't forget to hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, and give us a thumbs up. If you'll share this video, it'll be awesome, especially if it's been beneficial to you. And comment down below exactly what was the most difficult thing for you to deal with in 2023 on your place. Thanks so much, guys. Hope you all have a wonderful and blessed 2024. Oh.